mind control weapons, which we it's been coming up a lot recently. Mind control weapons. And this has to do with uh, just how propaganda operates, but also how advertising at large operates. Uh, this is a website called popular.info. And I kind of did a peek real quick on what popular.info is. They're allegedly independent accountability journalism. And it's made by Judd Legume. Uh, the New York Times calls this place excellent. Bloomberg says corporations' political reckoning begins with a newsletter. Okay. And the Washington Post says admirable snooping. <laughs> So popular.info seems to be some kind of outlet that uh, is meant for know, these institutions or, or these news orgs to sort of get their their alpha from. So anyway, this is one of those articles, and it's titled PR Giant Advising Corporate Clients to Stay Silent on Abortion Rights. And of course, in this uh, week, we've had the whole leak of the uh, congressional document and opinion piece about the fate of Roe v. Wade. And so, of course, uh, th this will become, uh, because it is a political issue, uh, you know, obviously corporations, a lot of times the, the pattern has been, whether it's Ukraine, whether it's COVID, whether it's Black Lives Matter, the, the pattern has been something happens culturally, the Democrat, left-wing, progressive, whatever you want to call it, communists, uh, they have a particular influence through certain corporations or within corporations. They have been penetrated. Uh, <laughs> they will uh, uh, virtue signal publicly and use their platform as massive corporations to virtue signal whatever it is that is the uh, PC line of the usually the Democrat Party. But... This is interesting. Let's see what it says. Uh, okay, massive public relations firm Zeno is privately advising its high-profile corporate clients to avoid commenting on the draft Supreme Court opinion overturning Roe v. Wade, according to an internal communication obtained by Popular Information. Oh, they get leaks. They, they report on the leaks, but they get their own leaks. <laughs> Popular.info. Zeno is a multinational company with almost $120 million in annual revenue and a roster of blue chip corporate clients, including Coca-Cola. We just talked about the Coca-Cola company. Well, I guess that was PepsiCo. Oh. So maybe a rival. Uh, Coca-Cola, Salesforce, Hershey's, Netflix, and Starbucks. Zeno is also a subsidiary of Edelman, the world's largest public relations conglomerate. According to Zeno CEO, Barbie Siegel, the firm's mission is to, quote, champion the courageous to achieve something better for humankind. You know, I could have guessed that that's what their their agenda is. It's always world saving. You know, <laughs> these these organizations and institutions are so big that there's really no other way to put it in context when you're talking about public relations and talking about yourself and what your purpose is. It's all about bettering humankind. It's it's kind of it's kind of like the blanket argument. Oh, I'm gonna make humans better. That's why we're here. The mission is not reflected in an email sent to Zeno staff this week by Katie Swayna, Zeno's executive vice president for media strategy. Uh oh. Swayna's message includes quote a template email to share with client contracts re regarding the leaked Supreme Court opinion sh uh, opinion, which would end all constitutional protections for abortion rights. The template tells clients that quote the media and others quote will look for corporations to take a stand and make their views known. Zeno's advice, however, is to keep quiet. There's a block quote here: "Do not take a stance you cannot reverse." especially when the decision is not final. This topic is a textbook 50-50 issue. Subjects that divide the country can sometimes be no-win situations for companies because regardless of what they do, they will alienate at least 15 to 30% of their stakeholders. 
Do not assume that all your employees, customers, or investors share your view. Sound advice to keep the money rolling in. This issue is way too divisive for you to take a stand on at this moment. You will compromise financial opportunities by taking a side. So, yeah, I mean, this is very telling in terms of not just... Not just with this particular issue and this leak, but more so how much these sort of shadow institutions influence what big corporations say, you know, and and the kind of virtue signaling that we've seen in the past, I'm sure I'm 100% certain that it's, it's places like this that give suggestions or give sort of, uh, you know, how you should deal with uh, any given issue publicly, what stance you should take or whatever it might be. So, you know, and especially if those opinions are narrow in that it's a, it's kind of like a minority view. It's a very fringe minor. Ima- okay, can you imagine if someone like me or like Basil got into the what do you call it um the seat the uh the 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 chair the master chair the throne where whoever these you know sort of progressive people sit in these institutions and organizations that are able to send a little memo out to uh you know uh, coca-cola what else was it salesforce hershey's netflix starbucks these big corporations billions of dollars and you can you know I, I can just write a memo and be like listen uh i want you to talk about how we all need jesus and how you know they're they're setting up this big great deception and it's all in the bible you just gotta you know start genesis there and, uh, yeah, but I'll just check out Canary Cry News Talk and Canary Cry Radio and, and, you know, find out all the people that hang out there and, and, you know, just check it out. Can you imagine that? I mean, that's essentially kind of what's happening at that level. Just some woke person who's, who's got the, who's you know sitting at the wheel and they're like, well, we're going to do this woke thing. But it sounds like they're, you know, when there's a financial threat, they're they're much more i don't know careful in taking sides or or pushing people to take sides all right anyway let me just uh, let me continue on here while swina claims overturning roe is a 50-50 issue 72% of americans oppose overturning roe according to a january poll by market law uh school in the email template zeno warns corporations that inquiries from the media about reproductive rights should be ignored to avoid attracting attention. Avoid media, quote-unquote, phishing. Often during controversy, media will make general inquiries to multiple peer organizations in which the first one to, quote, raise its hand becomes the lead. Again, they're really giving away the, the, the playbook here of what happens behind the scenes and why we see certain companies, organizations, influencers, you know, how they go viral, how they're able to become the voice of a generation. In a case like this, being at the center is not advisable. So be judicious if how general inquiries are managed. Yeah, you know, we, uh, being center on, on anything is very unpopular. I mean, we've tried to have this balanced approach on this show. And inevitably, inevitably, what we do is we upset people on all sides of the aisle in pretty much all topics, you know, <laughs> uh, from the rapture to politics. I mean, we, we've we've ventured those aisles many times. Uh, Zeno is also advising companies to avoid pitching, quote, breaking news network outlets or networks and outlets, on any topic because these outlets might use the opportunity to ask about the Roe decision. And then another block quote, Steer clear of breaking news network outlets. We anticipate the story will dominate news feeds for the rest of the week as more details unfold. So avoid pitching reporters and outlets that focus on breaking news. 
wow, they really want them to stay out of the public light when it comes to this issue. Very interesting. Who is it again? Coca-Cola. This is remind us uh, again. Coca-Cola, Salesforce, Hershey's, Netflix, Starbucks. And that's not the whole list either. That's uh, that. Those are some of the blue chip. Um, okay. In a section of the template email devoted to social media, Zeno again emphasizes the importance of not responding to any questions about a company's position on reproductive rights. Okay. So don't do anything. No social media, no TV, no nothing. You guys just go sit down in the corner and just, just twiddle your thumbs. Cause, uh, nobody, nobody wants to know what you think. Uh, or, you know, at least uh, we think that, uh, you know, half the people or you're going to upset somebody and you'll lose money. So just just go over there. Quiet. Let it pass. Go under the wave. Now uh, back to the article. I think this is the end of it here. Now with the constitutional rights of women in grave danger, Zeno is giving their clients, which also include oh, more and more companies, Kia Motors, AstraZeneca, AT&T, ASICS or ASICS. Scott's Miracle Grow. <laughs> okay. Philips Health, Corona, the beer company, Pizza Hut, Prudential, and Livano. The opposite advice. Wait, hold on. Now with the oh, okay. This is must be because of the whole thing before about shattering glass. Okay, yeah, I think they quote Ruth Bader Ginsburg, notorious RBG, shattered glass ceilings, broke down doors and held open for the rest of us, blah, blah, blah. But now, you know, now, now they're doing the opposite. Like, hey, you know, we used to be super woke, but things are changing. And this to the point that we've been saying for, what, it's been two weeks now? Ever since they fired up CERN, we said, expect changes. Expect I don't know, shifts, the pendulum swinging in different directions, uh, Democrat, Republican, you know, tipping of the tide, tipping of the association, tipping of uh, stances on various issues. You know, it, it's, it, it's, it's just kind of a shakeup, you know, it's very interesting. And there are, I think there are multiple reasons for that. Obviously, I think there's the, you know, the, the greater economic instability around the world uh the just in general the inflation over the the printed money I, we didn't bring it to the show a few weeks ago i i should have maybe a week ago the i think one of the imf directors the international monetary fund he's on tape saying to the effect of i'm i'm summarizing here that uh oh yeah we we definitely printed too much money we uh, we shouldn't have done that we uh we made a mistake uh, so, you know, too much money, inflation happening, things overpriced, hurting the lower class and the middle class tremendously. This inflation thing is going to, and, and you know, the Fed trying to uh, ease it by raising rates and that's freaking out the market. So all of a sudden you got these huge crashes in the market like we saw this week. So uh, a lot of change. This is a great reset, remember? It's not one quick thing. It's shaking up the entire world, and and uh, it's it's going to have its rough moments. It's going to be turbulent. But we're here to walk everyone through it. Not walk you through it, but just walk through it together, hand in hand. Because, uh, you know, we're a community of believers who thinks that this is all going to be all right. You know, yeah, things are bad. Things are looking bad. You know, it's uh, like Ben over at, what is it, uh, BitBoy Crypto said. Oh, golly, I feel like we're living in the end times. Yeah, totally, totally feel the same. And, you know, who knows that if it is or not. But you know, the bottom line is that we don't have to worry about it. You know, we, we can kind of laugh at all this stuff because... While we are serious about everything and we report to you all the serious things that are out there, you know, it's, 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 there's a certain point, you reach a certain point, especially if you're in this for a while, where it, you, you get it. Like you get the, the bigger picture. It's all just living out the details day to day and processing it. And while you go through that, you, you get to the point where either you 
truly feel this deep resentment, anger, and and and, and which it doesn't really go away, but it's it's sort of there as part of. Man, it's so upsetting to know. And it makes me angry to know that there is a more powerful truth that doesn't get relayed, you know, because of all this propaganda and all this this uh, fake constructed psychology being doused it on people through all the the ways that it's done, you know. It, it, there's an anger to it and it, it drives people, at least for myself, it's it's driven me to a point where where I either cry about it you know, in, in pain or in sadness, uh, or you just got to laugh because it's absurd. I mean, the level at which things are happening are absurd. It's, it's absurd, absurd, absurd. And so the, the natural thing for us is to laugh. I mean, uh, to me, I found laughter is a great way to process all this stuff. There's no other way to do it because it, uh, it really truly shines a light on the absurdity so anyway, 